Welcome to Edinburgh, I'm Robert and I'll be your guide on this tour. The Mary Queen of Scots walking tour lasts approximately two hours and takes your class around the magnificent old town locations linked to the life of Mary. This short video will answer three questions you might have about this class tour. Now your learners will probably have come up with a wide variety of questions that they want answered. The standard Mary tour covers questions such as who was John Knox, what was Mary's childhood like, why did Mary have a claim to the throne of England, what happened to her husbands, what were some of the important events in Mary's life? What was Scotland like to live in at the time? Your classes will be exploring the answers to these questions in the places which are directly linked to them, often whilst using evidence which is linked to those locations. If you give me enough warning, I can try and tailor the tour to what your learners might be most interested in. What route will you take in this tour? Well, the tour route has been chosen very carefully because it's got lots of learning opportunities and it keeps walking and crossing of roads to a real minimum. I meet your class outside the Museum of Scotland. We'll have a look at the replica tomb of Mary and also a very significant old coin. It's very rare and tells us a story about Mary's second husband, Henry Lord Darnley. Our next stop is the site of Darnley's assassination. We'll investigate the scene today and compare how it is now with how it was then. Our next stop will be Greyfriars Churchyard. We'll get to see the graves of Mary's teacher, this chap behind me here, and I did say graves, uh, one of her big rivals, a man who attacked Edinburgh Castle, one of Mary's last strongholds in Scotland. We'll leave Greyfriars and pass through the grass market. We'll find out why Mary was so important to England and Scotland when we visit the grass market. We'll head up to the Royal Mile, where we'll see the site of Mary's mum's palace. Now, we could possibly visit St Giles, although it does cost an extra 50 pence, which goes to St Giles. They've very kindly given us a discount on the normal visitor's amount. At the end of this tour, your class will see where John Knox lived at the time, and then they'll find out about Mary's sad last night in Edinburgh. At the very end of the tour, we'll find out about some of her final supporters and what happened to them. Now, I tell stories throughout the tour, but this isn't a purely expository trip. Your class will use evidence throughout the tour. Your learners will get a set of laminated sheets, and on this tour, they'll be able to compare different pieces of evidence. So throughout the tour, we're encouraging the class to discuss things with each other. And on this tour, your pupils will use archive images, old photograph, parts of one of the sort of earliest surviving maps we have, which comes from the period. We'll also look at physical evidence, such as buildings, streets, artifacts, such as memorials, a rather nasty tool, and Mary's replica tomb. Thank you for watching this video and for considering historic Edinburgh tours for your class learning experience. Now we know you might want to discuss specific needs for your learners, so please email me and we can look at what you need from this trip and what you want it to achieve. Thank you for watching.